hate people welcome back to my channel it's a girl Elsie yeah please like follow share comment subscribe just do the needful all right also you can just press the bell so I can be notified every time I upload a new video so today we are talking about why I'm not planning on having any more kids and why you should reconsider as well so I have written down the points this is a very important topic so let's jump right into it and also I'm on Facebook that's why I said follow you can follow me there as well as Elsie's world first point no me time I know if you're a parent you know what I'm talking about I know you know what I'm talking about you don't have me time and me time is like something we schedule and that is not nice you know because all of our time revolves around our children and so <laughs> that is not so far you know at the end of the day you matter as well you do matter so please have me time even if I'm saying to reduce the number of children that you wanted or if you have like two or three you stop there so that you can have me time you know what I'm talking about so <laughs> in case you're wondering how many children I have because there's so many people who want to know <laughs> all the gist so I am 28 and I have one son his name is Raymond and he is six years old so you can imagine he is at that point where he never keeps quiet he never sits still and yeah he made me reconsider a lot so onto our second point it's too expensive now being serious with this when it comes to school fees um vacations uniforms books all those um it it, it piles up and becomes a little bit too expensive um so you know at the end of the day you, you love this bundle of joy of yours right it's god's gift but we don't want too many gifts and that's gonna come with too many expenses <laughs> it is a bit funny so it's like look at it this way someone brought you gifted you a house let's say a 65 million dollar house that's a little bit too steep to think about as a gift but <laughs> motivation levels anyway so let's say someone gives you a 65 million dollar house so this house in order for you to run it it will come with an extra three million dollars um, expenses by year in terms of tax um, maids um, electricity water just to run it do you understand what I'm saying so I'm not saying you should look at your child like that, but at the end of the day, they come with these extra things that cost a lot and that becomes too expensive. So, um, to at that point, um, it's easier for someone to provide, okay, provide good life for the one that you have. So, at this point, um, it's easier for me to give Raymond a better lifestyle than it would be for me if I had two or three more kids, you know. So, at the end of the day, that's why you have to reconsider um, whether or not to have more kids. Um, on to our fourth point, better planning for the future with less expenses. I'm not saying you look at your child as an expense, but then at the end of the day, we cannot ignore the expenses that will come with a child. Um, as I said, school fees and all that, those are recurring expenses, you know, vacations once in a while, but food, shelter, um, school fees, those are recurring ones. So at the end of the day, um, you cannot be able to provide a good life if you have four or five kids, not unless you're a millionaire, which is also good. But if you're not, it's going to be a little bit more tricky for you to give your children a better life. And as a parent, I do understand the, 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 the fact that every parent wants to give their children uh, a, a life that they never experienced themselves. So if you are raised at this and your family was at this level, you want at least your child to experience at least a, a one step higher kind of lifestyle, like one step higher kind of lifestyle more than the one that um, to our fifth point um too much responsibilities yeah this one i don't know how much i need to say it it's like 
you don't look at your child as a responsibility because they're your child it's not like you're babysitting them for someone uh, but at the end of the day you cannot just up and leave without thinking about who's gonna be left with my child who's gonna warm uh, the food for my child who's gonna read a story for my child at night who's gonna take care of me when i'm not around you have to at least think through about all those things so at the end of the day it's a responsibility that you have and you have to deal with it now our sixth point better uh, better connection with one kid so when you have one kid it's easier for you to connect with them than it is with four or five kids so at the end of the day you have a better strong bond with one child than the bond that you're going to have with five children i'm not saying that you if you have five children you don't have strong bonds with them i know uh your the bonds are unique for every child as a parent i know that but i have only one child so but at the end of the day i uh you need if you have like me now if i have one the way i have one child i know our com- connection level is way better um the seventh point enjoy life i wanna be able to read that point where i'm gonna i'm sitting back and just enjoying life without thinking about nannies school fees and all that okay i'm not saying that it's overwhelming at some point it is i'm not gonna lie to you but not thinking too much about it because the child is grown you know they can take care of themselves they don't have to pay extra for a nanny or whatever and all that so it's gonna be easier as the child grows so for me to start thinking about uh, um, enjoying life when my son grows is like a dream come true for me it's like a vacation on its own and <laughs> don't get me wrong I want to also enjoy life as a normal human being. On to our eighth point. Also, I think people are gonna bash me for that anyway. That's fine. I can take it. On to our eighth point. I wanna take up traveling. I mean, who doesn't wanna see what's out there? Who doesn't wanna explore? go to the beach have fun go to maybe mexico buy a home maybe go to you know different countries see what they have to offer enjoy it experience it that is what i want to do and uh, let's be very honest if you're a traveler you need as very less entanglement as possible i'm not calling my son an entanglement but because i'll be traveling with him when he's on um when they've closed school but at the end of the day i don't want to have so many attachments like if i have five kids it's gonna be even more harder for me to go to another country and enjoy life as much as i want because more kids it goes to more expenses like let's say flight tickets hotel rooms food <laughs> You, you just name it so at the end of the day the one that i have is enough for me and that is why i think you should also reconsider so let's go through the points and uh, yeah number one no me time number two two it's, it's too expensive number three provide good life for the one that i have number four better planning for the future with less with less expenses number five too many responsibilities number six better connection with one kid number seven enjoy life number eight take up traveling so tell me what you think about my decision and as i said if a man comes my way and i get to love him and and whatever at the end of the day this is me it has always been in me i've not always been that person who will have a child and wanna be you know a mom to many <laughs> i know it's better that i know myself you know so yeah this is me and i'm not gonna change and if they come we are gonna re- evaluate and if it's a child maybe we take up adoption i mean there's so many children out there who needs parents right so that's all for today i'm gonna see you in my next video so bye thank you for stopping by